had time. She had time today for Megatron. Megan McCain. Let's get into it. Let's watch. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe and do click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please do subscribe and click the bell. Like I said, so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I appreciate the good, the bad, everything comments. But if you unsubscribe, that ain't my fault, boo. That's your fault. So I ain't begging for you. So Joy Behar was on Michael Cohen's podcast. And before we even get to, into that, Michael Cohen was the former fixer slash attorney for our Donald Trump. And then he got into trouble and he blasted Trump. He made a book. He went on a view and Meg McCain got on his behind. And I don't blame her. I'm going to defend her there because this man going to sit there knowing what Trump did, knowing the sexual allegations that Trump did. And he covered that up allegedly and he fixed that up allegedly. And so I applaud Meg McCain for actually handling his ass on the view saying, why now? Why, why are you changing? What for? So, you know, what you doing? This man, while working for Donald Trump, Michael Cohen, had the audacity to not even sneak Trump. When I say sneak, I mean hit something, do something, slap, curse, whatever, Adam, because that time when he had his daughter, she was 15 years old, Michael Cohen's daughter, 15 years old, and Trump basically flirted with her, telling Michael Cohen that his daughter looked kind of hot. And Joy Behar had to ask Michael Cohen, why didn't you say anything or do anything? Like, what would you do as a man if, if if the president of the United States would tell your minor daughter that she's hot? What would you do? So now he has this podcast. Now he's trying to go on The View. Now he's trying to really said he he changed and he did something wrong and he regretted it. A man that's in like his 50s, acting like he don't know better as if he's like 15, 16, 17 years old. So Joy Behar went on his podcast and he tried. He tried Joy Behar. And I'm going to read you guys what he said according to sources. So... Joy Behar said, every day for the past four years, I have veered not once against Donald Trump. I am against that man from the giddy up, from the minute he came down that escalator, and I have never gone in a different direction. I can't sleep. I can sleep at night. Can you? She asked. And so this is when Michael Cohen, old dim head ass, said, do you find it difficult now to listen to Meghan McCain when she's supporting Trump voters in the wake of the riots? How do you guys plan to handle politics moving forward? As far as Meghan and I are concerned, Joy Behar said we totally disagree politically, but she loves Joe Biden and she claims she didn't vote for Trump. It's a job. It's my job. I could sitting. I could be sitting there with Joseph Stalin and I guess I'd have to deal with it. So uh, Cohen didn't press Behar, and he said, you really don't have to deal with it because the same option that I had, you don't have to, to take the job. So basically, he's comparing now. Now he's trying Joy Behar, and he's saying being the host on The View, being with a wannabe political conservative, Meghan McCain, she's touting right, right-wing, right extreme radical tweets and verbatim from her husband on the show. He's comparing that to basically him working with Donald Trump, covering up for his alleged sexual assaults, his, uh, his alleged illegal crimes. He's comparing those two. He thinks those two are alike. And if y'all don't find that to be sick, then I don't know what else to tell you. So then Joy said, it's not the same thing as quitting the same thing, Michael. Don't even try to go there. You know, so Michael Cohen was sentenced in 2018, according to sources, to three years in prison for crimes he committed while working for Trump, including lying to Congress and campaign finance violations tied to a scheme to pay off women who claimed to have affairs with Donald Trump. So y'all tell me, does that is what I just said, is that the same thing as for Joy Behar to sit there in front of Elizabeth Hasselbeck or to sit there in front of a right wing extremist Megan McCain on The View? No, it's not the same thing. It's totally different. Joy Behar is simply being paid to commentate on her job. She's being paid to exercise her free speech according to the First Amendment in the United States Constitution. While this man is going against the Constitution or was going against the Constitution, basically selling his soul to a man who was the past president of four years and basically selling his daughter and being OK with a, with, with a man t telling his daughter that she's kind of hot at 15 years old. Those two are in comparison. And he shot back like that, comparing Joy Behar as a host of The View with, with his past workings with Trump because he knows he's wrong. He knows he's wrong. So he has he has no type of leverage into justifying what he did for the past four years. And now you have a bad record as an attorney. And I'm hoping you lost your legal license and you can't practice law ever in the United States of America or even outside of the United States. 
And in regards to Meghan McCain voting for Trump, I think there's a high probability that she did vote for Trump. I recall on The View when Joy Behar and Meghan McCain got into it, and Joy Behar simply asked Meghan McCain who you're voting for. Meghan McCain straight up said, it's none of your business who I'm voting for. And I just, I, I don't understand the woman because had this man tweet what he tweeted out, if that was my father, if he was bullying my father for three years and I have high respect for my father, but if I had high respect for my father, like maybe Kane has, I would have like I if his son was sitting in front of me, like how his son was sitting in front of Megan McCain, Donald Trump Jr., I'd read his ass for filth. I would read Trump ass for filth. And I would even sit there and have a co-host, Aaron Navarro, who's a longtime friend of John McCain to read Donald Trump for filth, have it for go viral. I would have done that myself. And instead, she wants to sit there and act like she's classy, Meghan McCain, when she knows she's not classy. She's just choosing to basically succumb to the right-wing extreme party and act non-classy when it becomes to a Democratic, quote-unquote, narrative because of her husband. Because of her husband runs this right-wing website called The Plagiarist that is funded and now gets a Fox News job after marrying Meghan McCain, after saying he does not want her publicly on Twitter, and now all of a sudden when he is seen on Bill Maher, <laughs> Megan McCain follows him and they go on the first date and the rest is history. And you know, a man has three marriages. Megan McCain is the third wife, okay? The first one is ex from social media. The second one is a writer. I'm sure he used her to get writer connections. And the third is Megan McCain who has TV connections and he's using her at the moment and he locked her down with a baby so he's set for life, all right? But anyways... <laughs> Y'all, please do subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yay!